Okay, it's uh, Sunday, February the 25th, about 9.30 in the morning, 2024. All right. Today I'm talking about is what I have, a curse or a gift. Around 10 or 11 years old, I thought it was a curse. Why I'm doing this in February is because it's approximately the same time this happened to me. Okay, no, I've seen ghosts and spirits since I was born, not talking about that. I'm talking about why I think it was a curse at this time. So, I'm in school, uh, there's about 25, 27 kids, but to me there's like 50, because I see a whole bunch of other spirits and ghosts. And at this time, now I can see through them, because I know that they're ghosts, and I can put my hand through them, and that's how I tell that they're ghosts. Other than that, they seem like real children to me. They're dressed odd and differently, but, you know, I didn't really mind that. I didn't notice it that much. Anyway, so, in school, I, I'm really not that smart, but I knew the answers to all the questions because the spirits and ghosts would tell me. Now remember, I can't tell anybody that I see them or hear them or see visions or know anything. So, they would tell me answers and I would get them correctly, but I never learned the formula. So, in order to be intelligent, you have to know how you got the results of getting the answer right. And this was a, un, unknown to me at the time. So, well, I'm, a, I'm an A student, or really, I'm not an A student. And so this occasion, this occasion in the middle of the winter, um, one of the ghosts saw a chessboard on top of the teacher's table, well, his desk, and asked me to challenge him to a game. I don't know how to play chess, I told the ghost. The ghost says, I was a prodigy. I know how to play. I'll tell you every move to make, and you will win. And I said, ah, no, I really don't want to do this. But he pastored me and pastored me. Maybe a week, two weeks went by, he kept pastoring me. This one ghost, so there was a whole bunch of them and stuff like that. And then they all got on board. Yeah, yeah, I do it, do it. So I challenged him to a game. And it was one of those days where it was super cold outside. So uh, the teacher says we're having uh, lunch or whatever it is, that 12 o'clock thing inside. So I said, okay, I'm going to challenge you now. And he goes, sure, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll make this little kid happy by it playing him a game. He was he said he was gonna take it easy on me. So I said, okay, thank you. That's really nice of you. I beat him in three moves. He lost it. Told the principal, told everybody. At this time I found out I was in trouble. Because being an A student, not such a big deal. But being, you know, a thirty year old in chess when they're supposed to be really good, you know, some shit's gonna hit the fan. So I went home. Uh, told my mom and dad and they says you don't even know how to play that game I said I know so right away we got we had these encyclopedias Britannia and we took them out and I start well mom and dad took them out and we, we uh, bought a chess board and some chess pieces and stuff like that and I crammed to learn how to play I was sick for three days at home well that's what my mom and dad said and uh, when I went back uh, he wanted me to play the principal and I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm really not that good. I just got lucky. I don't know what I did. I really don't know. Meanwhile, I was lying my head off because if they find out, I see ghost spirits, all this. All I've been told when I was a kid was, they'll take you away. You know, you'll never see your family. And I was having a great childhood. I have nine brothers and sisters, well, eight, including me, nine. And I'm, you know, living on a farm. I'm, I'm living the dream at 10, 11 years old. I don't want to be taken away. The ghosts are a little bit of a bother. So I cried my eyes out, and uh, eventually they said, okay, he just got lucky, and they let it go, because I was really shitty. The principal beat me so badly it wasn't funny in chess. He goes, you have a rudimentary vision of how to play this game. I don't know how you beat your teacher. Maybe he was sleeping, or maybe you did get lucky, so I got away with that. But the one thing that happened that was amazing was when I started crying, all the ghosts disappeared. They're like, okay, ghosts want acknowledgement. They want to hunt, the, the haunt. They want to be there. They want to be acknowledged. But if you show them real, true emotions, then they will leave you alone because they're scared that you will not communicate with them if you're a special person that can communicate with them. And I found this out at 10 or 11 years old. 
still thought that perhaps it was more of a curse than a gift at that time. But later on in my life, I think God gave me a gift in order to help people and do what I can to make things better and stuff like that for people that I love. And believe it or not, I got to kind of love everybody because if I dislike somebody, it doesn't seem to go good for that person. Or perhaps that's just the way I think. But anyway, I'm supposed to keep this at around 9 to 10 minutes. So I'm at 5 minutes now. Don't want to lose the audience. Because they want me to say these stories in order for you to understand that there is something out there. It's not everything you can touch, feel, see, you know, taste and all that. There's things out there that are real. And they try to contact us. And they try to tell us what is right for us. Most of the time, ghosts can be mischievous and do what they want to do. And that's one thing that I learned very, very young. But I'm just letting you know that it's one of these things. And I'm doing my best to do what I can to explain it to everybody that it's real. Don't forget, I work for God. Well, at least that's what he tells me. But I think God picks people in order to help that he knows the way that they are already. So you're living your life, realizing that you're doing whatever you're doing, but God knows what you're going to do before you do it. And then he picks you in order to do what you're supposed to do in order to help and succeed in doing things that are right. And that's the way I perceive it anyway. And... I'm sitting at about seven minutes. I'm going to call it an issue. Though, don't forget, when I was in school, I had to learn the formula before knowing the answer. And that's one thing I really focused on. The good part is, from being an A student, I went to be a C student. But at least I learned. And that was the important thing, to understand how you get an answer to a question is by learning the formula and following the steps. Doesn't come easy when you just think you know the answers. You need to know why you know the answers. And that's it. I'm calling it. Bye, Bernie.